name is Brad Baldwin. I'm the North American Sales Manager for Sakai America. I'm going to be talking about our SW884ND with our Auto Brake Assist System, which is GuardMan, is what we call. This is actually the first machine that we've built in the U.S. with the GuardMan technology. But this is probably the biggest heavy highway machine that's out there. So this is our 79 inch double drum 15 ton oscillation machine as well as vibration. Something that we do that's unique is we'll have double drum vibration and double drum oscillation. So what you'll get on that one is if you're doing a thick lift, you just turn a knob on the dash and you get vibration. If you're doing a thin lift, you turn a knob on the dash, you get oscillation. One of the things that we like to point about our machines is we have a lot of steel. And one of the places you can really see a lot of that steel and structure and strength of our machines is in our articulation area. Any articulation machine, part of the challenge you're running is this is the weakest portion of the machine. As you're loading, unloading, and facing kind of any violence, this is an area that sees most of the torque and weakness of the machine. So you can tell by this, this is very beefy. You actually only have to grease this every 500 hours. So when you do an engine oil change, you grease that two spray rails, and then what you'll have this is redundancy. So you have two separate pumps, one for each rail on the front and the rear. So you can run both at the same time or you can run one pump. So you really only need to run one rail at a time unless you're in an exceptionally windy day or maybe in an arid environment where water is just being evaporated instantaneously. So we have two separate water tanks, same on the front and rear. So you have 160 gallons capacity on this tank and 160 on the front. So it'll be the largest in the industry on this size machine. You have a triple filtered water system, a nice mesh screen will filter out a lot of the silt. After that filtration system, you have another. This will be your secondary water filtration system, so this will catch a little more of your fines right here. And then a nice brass tip with a very tight, clean spray pattern. All you need to do for this is to have a nice grout cleaner to clean in between on that one, and then soak it in some CLR occasionally to get up any calcium or lime buildup. These cocoa mats right here is a factory option. These will actually serve as a sponge. So it'll actually soak up the water and make your water last much, much longer. So this would be an option that you'll see that we recommend for most places just because water is such an important thing on an asphalt application. One of the things I tell everyone is if the water system doesn't work on an asphalt roller, the engine might as well not work on an asphalt roller. That's how critical water is to this machine. If you're in the Northeast market, we have these drains right here for winterization. So all you have to do to winterize this machine is turn it this way, install a, a brass nipple and a hose, run that into some RV antifreeze. You can suck that through the system at that with the current pump. Once you have some of that go through the drum, turn it off, you have a winterized machine. So very, very simple to winterize these machines. This particular model, as stated, is our Guardman model. So what this is, it's an auto brake assist system. It'll slow down the machine and then stop before making contact. Before you run into a machine, it'll stop. Before you can run into a person, it will stop. And then all you have to do at that point in time to get the machine back in operation, put a neutral, engage the parking brake, release the parking brake. So you don't have to go back through, open the hood, and change all of these things out. So operation-wise, it's very simple. So the way we do that as far as this particular machine is we have four millimeter hertz wave radars. Why the millimeter hertz is chosen on this so it's not really affected by dust or steam. So as you're on an asphalt job, sometimes you'll see steam come up. This can go all the way through that steam. It's not affected at all. The millimeter hertz is going to have to have some kind of moisture content to it. Sure. So plastic is not too bad, but a very like thin piece of cardboard, it may not register. Sure. If you have water on that cardboard, it's going to pick that up. But if it's a very dry piece, it may not reflect that as well. Sure. But as far as a human interaction or a steel block, it will pick those up. So if you have a container crate or another machine, it will catch those. You can also have the ability to cut off a little bit of the sensor range to where if you're running right up against a wall, it'll cut off to about about here, so that way you can still run up and have no uh, issues with the system overall. This has been proven in the Japan domestic market for quite a period of time, about 60% take rate in Japan. Part of the reason for that is if a contractor has an accident, they can't bet a job for a year. So that's the safety uh, standards that they'll have in that market. I don't think our U.S. is quite that bad, but also that being said, nobody wants to go home hurt. We all want to get home safely. So this is something that you can put to those machines that's unique to us as we move forward. 
this will kind of be our flagship model, to be quite honest. This is going to be in your larger size of all double drums. So this will come in generally within the industry between a 79, 78 inch drum width capacity or an 84 inch. The big reason for that is going to be overlap and lane coverage. So on a 12 and a half foot, 12 foot mat, uh, you should be able to get one side of the mat on one pass and the other side of the mat on the other pass. For the latest in construction equipment, sign up for our daily newsletter. Just click the link below.